76.4 years. That is the average life expectancy of a human in our generation, and it's been like that for decades. But what if I told you there is a man who is setting himself up to live until 120 years old minimum? Well, that man is no other than Brian Johnson, better known as the creator of Venmo, has been spending millions of dollars a year to perfect every aspect of his life. In doing so, he has been able to reverse the aging in his body by well over 20 years. That is literally the entire amount of time that I've been alive. And he has a goal of living until 200 years old, dog, 200, which is 78 years longer than the current world record of the oldest person alive. Now, you might be thinking, well, Carson, I personally don't have a million dollars to spend on an anti-aging routine to make myself live till 200. Me neither. The good news is, Brian Johnson himself has created an anti-aging routine for the average Joes just like me and you. So we can hopefully live to 200 years old. Step number one, meal prep. So Brian always eats clean foods and has strict meals that he follows on a daily basis. He has his meals on his website that I've linked in the description of this video if you want to check it out. And I'm going to be eating similar meals to what he has, but I'm not going to be eating the exact ones. So don't kill me. Give me a break. Step number two is supplements. For supplements, honestly, he doesn't take anything too crazy. It's just this list. Just that. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't even know where the frick I would even find all of this stuff. So I'm just gonna be taking bits and pieces along with a bunch of podcasts and interviews I've listened to by a bunch of other people to get a similar supplement stack to whatever this is. Step number three, tracking. So Brian uses a whoop band to track his day-to-day -day results, which is conveniently the exact thing that I got on my wrist right here. I bought it just for this video. That's the only reason. That's it. I haven't had it on me for the past six months of my life. No, no, no. I got it just for you guys. Step number four is your physical protocol. So this is anything from skincare, eye care, sleep, and all the way to my workout routine. Why am I so white in this dog? And I'm going to be copying every single thing that Brian does on a day-to-day -day basis to hopefully become my four-year-old self again. Ah, good old days. <laughs> mm. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently day one. Oh, it's so freaking early. This is the earliest I wake up ever. I should be asleep right now, but here's the thing he talks about a lot is, actually, I can't even explain it right now. I'm gonna wait a second for me to wake up, but now that I'm somewhat awake, I can hopefully explain this a little bit better. <laughs> so there's a big difference between getting eight hours of sleep, which is obviously what you want, seven to eight hours of sleep per night, seven to nine technically, but who's getting nine hours of sleep anymore? So eight hours of sleep between 12 p.m. and 8 a.m. is completely different than eight hours of sleep between 10 p.m. and 6 p.m. You want the peak of your night to fall around two to three a.m., which is around four or so hours after you fall asleep. When that falls, the during the day, your circadian rhythm naturally is going to start waking you up a little bit more. So those hours after that peak of sleep, since your circadian rhythm starts waking up because it believes it's starting to be morning time, it's not going to be as efficient and restorative for your body as it would be if you went to bed at 10 and woke up at 6. I hope that made any sense. I can barely understand myself right now, but that's why I'm waking up so early, essentially. <laughs> Work out. I got to go look at some sun, get some sun exposure, that stuff. Holy Piss. So I'm gonna stand outside very briefly. It's cold, but just to get my circadian rhythm in check. A circadian rhythm is essentially just your internal body clock telling you when to wake up and go to sleep. So getting bright sunlight in your eyes right when you wake up will help start that so you get tired earlier and could go to bed earlier. And then I got some training. Muay Thai, this isn't really part of the routine, but I gotta do it. I gotta live my life at the end of the day. Um, and then I'll see you afterwards. After training, it was time to go back home and get ready for a long day of anti-aging. All right, it's the time of the day where our boy showers. So I'm gonna be showing you some of the products that I use. So for my shower products, I try to use as many natural things as possible. For my soap, I use a native um, body soap. It's pretty freaking natural. For my shampoo and conditioner, I also use a very natural product. The least preservatives and crap like that, or the least artificial things that you can use on your body, the better. For my face wash, I use just this little benzoyl peroxide. It's an acne trim, and if you don't have acne, you really don't need this too much. Um, I use a sun scrub. It's just a body scrubber with silicone rather than a loofah like that there. I'll go over this kind of stuff later, but uh, deodorant I also use native. And then for the rest of my facial products, CeraVe, CeraVe, I don't even freaking know. Um, these are actually relatively cheap, but they're a very good brand. And then for my serums, I use a vitamin C hyaluronic acid retinol combo. And that's really all I use for showering. He uses some similar products. When I'm showering, I'm gonna use room temperature water rather than hot. Hot water can dry out and damage your skin. And we can't have none of that. Finish with a cold shower. 
I think that's it. And then I'm just gonna use my products afterwards, which I'll show you. Shower time. Fresh out the old shower, we feeling clean, baby. So I'm gonna use my native deodorant I was talking about. So I used to use the Old Spice deodorant, the freaking classic. I think everyone's used Old Spice deodorant in their lifetime. I got extremely sensitive skin, right? Right here, down the entire side of my armpit, huge like burn. I could not lift my arm for like a solid three weeks. It burnt the entire skin of my arm because there's too many chemicals in that jaw. So I switched to this, haven't had any problems since. So if you're having a problem like that, I recommend switching to this. The next very important thing that everyone should be using, sunscreen. Everyone should be using sunscreen. This is the number one thing you could do for anti-aging. The sun is actually the biggest reason for aging in people most of the time. Really, any sunscreen will work. There's so many studies and stuff going around now of if sunscreen's bad for you, blah, blah, blah. At this point in life, bro, every single thing is bad for you. Every single thing has good things and bad things about it. So just use what works for you and what you're trying to solve. Me? I want to prevent myself from aging, so I'm using sunscreen. There might be some repercussions, like there is with every other thing in the entire world, but that's life. You got to do what you got to do. So sunscreen, very, very important. I recommend each and everyone use that. Now, I'm going to get ready for the day, and we continue on with the routine. This is just the beginning. And time for my favorite part of any routine, food. Okay, so listen, here's the plan. Meal prepping, I think is gonna be the move because to cook a healthy meal every single day, it's just way too time consuming, bro. There's no way I'm gonna have time for all that. So I think meal prepping is gonna be the way to go. That way I can just heat up the meals and it's ready to eat the healthy meals every single day. Does that make sense? Because otherwise, dog, I'm gonna be cooking for 12 hours out of my 12 hour waking period. That's just not gonna happen. So in here, got a few meals prepped out. Super, super clean chicken and rice vegetables. This is all the nutritional value I'll need weighed out for the day. So I think those are gonna be the move to get me through this challenge. First of all, I can barely freaking cook food in the first place. Me and cooking don't really get along too well. So those are hopefully gonna save my life. That way I can focus on the other things I need to be doing to live till 200 years old. And I'm gonna do this for 200 years. Wait, what? That's kind of AIDS. As if that's not bad enough, you don't even understand how hard it was to grocery shop for this. Cakes right here. Space dunk. I don't even like chocolate. I would eat all those right now. The temptation is unreal. Time for breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Here's what I got on the dockets for today. I'm gonna do a super, super clean meal. I'm gonna do four eggs with spinach in them, cooked in olive oil. Seed oils are extremely bad for you. Very, very bad for you. There's so many studies on it. Seed oils, you need to avoid them. So the cheap oils like vegetable oil, canola oil, sesame seed oil, all of that, avoid that. The two best oils for you, well, the best one is avocado oil. Second best is gonna be olive oil. Avocado oil, I've actually never tried it. I'm very curious to try it though. So I'm gonna be cooking my eggs in olive oil. That's gonna be my base instead of like a high fat, like butter or something like that. And then I'll probably have some sort of avocado toast or something along those lines. I haven't figured that out. Um, and then just some spinach on the side to eat to get my nutritional value as well. So lots of spinach, clean eggs. And that is breakfast of champions that I'm gonna have every day for 200,000 years. Yeah. few things to remember, pink salt is much, much better for you than regular salt. More natural and just overall is a lot better for you. A lot of people think that too much salt is a bad thing and it can be depending on your health conditions and what goals you're trying to achieve. But I think there's a bad connotation around salt as a whole. It's actually not as bad for you as people think unless you have health conditions that conflict with that. Freaking suck it cooking. I added way too much oil in this john. You can see it freaking floating around. Do not take cooking advice from me. Definitely take everything I say with a grain of salt. Pun intended. I was meant to get juice at the store, but uh, I totally forgot. I got juice here, but it's not 100% juice with zero added sugar. That's very important. Listen up. Do not get added sugar in your drinks. You do not need any more sugar. You're getting plenty from your food. You do not need any more from your liquids. That is the best place to avoid your added sugar. So since I'm an idiot and forgot, I have water. Splendid. Bon appetit. Oh, you know what? Real quick, bro. Do you guys eat ketchup with your eggs? My girl makes fun of me so much for it, but dog, I'm telling you, ketchup on eggs is a normal thing and it's freaking delicious. So I want you to all comment down below if you do eat ketchup with eggs. And while you're down there, if you are an egg ketchup eater, you might as well subscribe. If you're not, 
leave. That boy said no chance. No chance. So if you got hair loss problems currently at a young age or you're scared of hair loss in the future like me, a thing you can do is very good for this because this actually does prevent anti-aging because having a full head of hair makes you look younger. Overall, is minoxidil. It's proven over time to suppress hair loss as well as regrow hair that you've lost in the past. You can pair it with the derma roller in locations where you need to use it. That's totally up to you, but that's something. No cheat code for all of you if you're worried about hair loss. All right. We are ready for the day. Ready to take it on. I'm actually feeling pretty good, bro. I'm feeling pretty good. I can't lie to you. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work right now. Someone's gotta pay the bills out here. You know what I'm saying? For anyone who sits at a computer all day, whether you're working or playing video games, I hope this is very important. And this is one thing Brian actually talks about a lot. One, wear some sort of blue light blockers. They don't have to be extremely yellow blue light blockers. These ones will do just fine. They're clear, but as you can see, the blue light is reflecting off. I just got these on Amazon. And a lot of the products I used, they're gonna be linked down in the description. It's like a little Amazon storefront, you know me, little influencer boy. I'm gonna be using blue light blockers while I work today. And then another thing you could do, your eyes, when they're super focused on close things for a long period of time, for example, when we're looking at our phones or when we're looking at our computer, literally 90% of our lives, we're looking at things within a few feet of our eyes. Your vision kind of becomes accustomed to looking at close things. So your far range vision suffers because of that. It's a little bit hard to explain. If you're looking at far things for a long time, you should take a break and look at close things. If you're looking at close things for a long time, you should take a break and look at far things. And this is something called the 20-20-20 rule. Every about 20 minutes of me doing work, I set a little timer. I'll look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. That's all I have to do every 20 minutes of work. That'll give your eyes a good break, looking at something far away. So yeah, let's get a little bit of work done. And then it is time for the anti-aging workout. I can't wait. <laughs> It's workout time. All right, so our boy Brian has an extensive workout routine. Like it's, it's freaking long. I'm not even gonna be able to say all of it because it would take up this entire video. So I'll have it ooh, somewhere on screen here. It's supposed to take about one hour to complete all this. Not sure how this is gonna work because I don't know, you know what? We're gonna try it. It's interesting because they're stretching in the middle of the workout routine. I have no idea what to expect here. One thing, most people probably don't have a sled. You might have a treadmill though. So if you do have a treadmill, you can walk backwards on the treadmill and it gives kind of the same effect. Uh, I don't really know what you could do otherwise. Let's try the anti-aging routine workout routine. Cue the montage. That was a much harder workout than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought I was gonna do my normal workout tonight that I usually do. Uh, I, I don't think so anymore. One thing I noticed is that a lot of the movements, he was focusing on extreme stretches throughout the entire movement, which makes me think that through his studies, he's probably found that good range of motion is very important to living a long life. Very interesting scientific study we found here. So that means I should probably start doing more stretching. Unfortunately, dog stretching sucks. It freaking hurts. Some of this stuff, obviously, you can't do at home. You probably don't have most of the equipment this guy has at home. Like for example, for oblique on the hyperextension, I don't got a hyperextension, so I just use dumbbells. So a few of them you just gotta tweak. Um, the biggest one, the sled push one, sled pull. You could really just pull anything heavy. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just focus on your form. That actually killed me way more than I expected. Very good for your knees though. So I should probably actually incorporate that because I got horrible joints. I had to take like five minutes to recover and catch my breath, but I actually really enjoyed it. Good workout, Brian. Good workout. The day is flying by, ladies and gentlemen. It's already like three o'clock. I didn't even realize it was so late into the day. So I'm gonna whip up the next Milski chicken and rice and <laughs> vegetables. Put this in the old, the old microwave ski. Probably not the best way to cook it. It's probably doing me dirty, but I've been drinking a bunch of water today, trying to hit about a gallon of water because that is very important. He mentions as well um, for your entire body. Really. So I've been sipping, pissing nonstop. Mm. I'm excited to eat, baby. Lunch is served. Chicken rice, water. Yummy to my tummy. Mm-hmm. That's some good stuff right there. Okay, now it is the time of the day where I take 
my supplements for the week. So I have them all planned out in my little container. I fill this up every single week. Makes it so much easier. Some of the things he takes, these are the ones that stood out to me most out of his list. Ain't no way I'm buying all this for this video. I'm sorry. So I'm going to be taking lysine. I'm going to be taking ashwagandha like he has on his list there. I'm going to be taking melatonin pill tablet. And then I'm going to be taking multivitamins, which have B vitamins, B3, K1, a whole bunch of stuff in these vitamins. So those are the things I'm going to be taking along with zinc, which is in my vitamin C pill. So I'm going to be taking those every single day, see how I feel. And maybe, who knows, maybe if I feel absolutely fantastic after this challenge, I start taking these 1,500 pills we got here. <laughs> maybe. But I'm going to pop these, Johns. Uh huh. And then right before bed is when I'm going to take my melatonin. I'm not going to take it now, otherwise I'm going to crash. Alternative for melatonin, if you get nightmares, I do get nightmares, so that's why I don't get any during this challenge, is magnesium. So you could also use magnesium as an alternative. And you want to take it about 30 minutes or so before bed. That'll get you right. Mm. All right, it's that time of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Sleepy time. It's time to go to bed. I'm giving myself a little bit longer than I normally do to try to go to sleep just because he literally wakes up without an alarm every single day. I got work tomorrow, so I can't necessarily wake up whenever I want. So I'm just gonna give myself as long as possible. And if I wake up naturally, then that's awesome, but I probably won't. I could sleep for like 15 hours straight. It's currently 9 p.m. So I'm gonna pop my melatonin for the night, take that in now that it's about 30 minutes before I want to go to bed take that down I'm gonna wear my blue light blockers no TV or anything some very important things in your room he talks about is having it be cold my nipples are frozen right now pitch black no lights whatsoever so these lights I have on behind me to film this light I have over here to film all of it has to be gone it has to be pitch black in here my phone is gonna be out of the room charging in another room so it's gonna be freaking weird in here but I'm gonna try this see if it makes any difference for me maybe it will maybe it won't but time will tell I'm really hoping and I get a good night's sleep because I am tired, bro. But ladies and gentlemen, that is day one of seven complete. Oh, you haven't got enough of me yet? Check out this video here where I live a scientifically perfect life for seven days. You'll love it.